Back to Martin. I know a lot of the conversation last night after he won was around if he's coming back, what the plan is. And obviously, Coach's response was, you got to keep winning races. That's the biggest pitch we could possibly get to our sponsors. Do you envision him coming back next year? And what will that take? I think if he's having fun, he comes back. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Um, I met Martin Truex. The first time I ever met him uh, was in the back of Dale Jr.'s white Tahoe that he had 20 years ago. Uh, we drove to Daytona. We left at midnight and drove all night to get to Daytona. For uh, It was the first year that they did the Dale Earnhardt Legacy Concert Series. They had Hootie and the Blowfish, Brooks and Dunn, Alabama. Like It was freaking awesome. You you didn't go with us that week. That's the only freaking weekend you probably didn't ever go. I don't know. I'm trying to think of where I was. Hovis and Josh and all them were with us. But that's the first weekend I met Martin, and I literally didn't know who he was. And when, by the time we got to Daytona, and they had talked about racing you know, some on the way there when we weren't sleeping, I was like, man, this is that Bush North driver. Mm -hmm. um and, and so he's really quiet really laid back he's not going to tell you what the hell he's doing casey i can promise you that until he's a hundred percent knows but i think if martin truex is having fun like he did yesterday and like he did with the year he won a championship i could see him coming back yeah i agree i mean if you're having fun you're not going to quit i mean he's probably a probably decently paid uh, multi-champion still winning races i'm probably not quitting you know and what about the other brother? So part-time schedule. He he capitalized on his opportunities, got the win. Now it happens. I mean, I still think Ryan's going to have he, – he's still going to probably bring some funding at some point to go. I don't think anybody off this win is going to say, you know, that's my guy right now. I mean, if he goes – and I don't know how many more races Ryan has left this year, but if he goes and wins two or three more, I, I definitely think it opens up doors at that point. Um, more doors or some, I think. But – you know, he's going to have to, you know, keep winning. It's just so competitive now. I mean, there's there's not many Ryan Priests of the world that come through, run a partial schedule, get a win, make a name for themselves, move on. There's not many Josh Berries of the world that come through, gain a lot of popularity, have a guy like Dell Jr., Jr. Motorsports, Rick Hendrick, willing to fund uh, fund that project. And, man, I, Casey, I don't, I don't think Ryan Truex moves up without – a major sponsor stepping up. I know his dad has some connections and has made a lot of efforts to give Ryan opportunities to win. Um, the question is, how much longer does he have? He's 31 or 32 years old. And when you look at Martin Truex, like he didn't really get hot until he was that old. But here's Ryan with zero cup experience in terms of being competitive. One win in the Xfinity Series out of 188 starts. And look, you can you can race an Xfinity Series full time and have a lot of fun and make a great living. I mean, there's a lot of guys doing that right now. So, I would I would say to Ryan Truex, have your fun, go after wins. The Cup Series ain't all it's made out to be, man. It's a dog eat dog world, and it ain't when you're not when you're not winning. It's not fun. You know, I think the the scenario that Ryan would probably be best in is getting a couple more wins this year and then getting an offer in that car. One of the sponsors saying, "Yeah, we'd like to see him." in that one of them cars next year full time. Yeah. And then get a full time deal in one of them. Then let's see you let's see you put a season together. And if you can be competitive all year, put a season together and run for the championship, then I think you move then I mean you gotta go and put a you gotta go and improve that, you know, and I think a couple more wins this year, maybe that opens the door there to stick around there and run a full season. I tell you, Elliot Sadler is a different guy now that he's not racing. He's happier, he's more happy go lucky. He's more jovial. I was texting with a cup driver last night that had a tough day, and I'm not going to say who it was, but he said, thanks, man. Wish it didn't frustrate me so much. They carry that frustration all freaking week until they get back in the car see, for a lot of them, for a lot of these guys. I'm not saying all of them do it. Single digit number, 20s, teens, what are we looking but at? I'm not telling you. A lot of guys <laughs> carry that frustration, though. I've been around them. Thursday morning, they're still in a bad mood because of how they ran on Sunday.